Welcome back to America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates, 419-794-3030 is the phone number or the website, ARHQ.com. It's a valid question, I think. At what age do you think you'll retire? Here's what actor and comedian Wanda Sykes, who is 59, recently told The Sherry Shepherd Show. Your wife, Alex, has been asking you about retirement. Yeah. Are you planning on doing I, it? No. I keep telling her, you know, she's French. And the Europeans, all they do is talk about retirement. <laughs> all they go, well, you know. That's all she does, talk about retirement. So she's like, when are we going to retire, babe? I'm like, I don't retire. Not They show us the door, right? That's right. <laughs> <They don't, laughs> when the phone stops ringing, you go, well, I guess I'm retired right that's now. What I'm talking about. But then when you get like 80, the phone can start ringing the again, phone, right? Sorry. Now, part of the process, uh, your process, is to show people when they can actually retire. If you run the numbers and you find out the answer is right now, I'm sure it's happened before. How many do you see continue to work uh, and then you know leave on their own terms whenever they want to down the line? Boy, do do you get that? Do you run into that where it, when you run the 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 independent income system, or uh, I'm not sure yeah. what system you run, mm-hmm. but um, if if they've got a, a 85 to 95 percent success. Of retiring next month, do they pull a trigger and retire? Not usually. I mean, I found more so it's it's the um, the comfort that they experience by going through the ex- the exercise to know that they could retire. Sure. And in many cases, I'm I'm thinking of two or three individuals. Uh, they've they've kind of got something else lined up with it, like sure. maybe it's moving or selling a house, or mm-hmm. you know, there's a lot of moving parts where you try to retire in um, in conjunction, maybe with your spouse or something like that, or or, or some other um, you know work event that lines up. But but not often. I, I mean, I think I've seen you know again more more so people ask how much do I have to make in order to to kind of do sure. an early retirement. Um, maybe moving on to do something different. Uh, but but generally, I, I think most people kind of know where they stand and that they're they're prepared to retire and basically on their own terms, uh, just knowing that it could be at any time. I've had clients say, it depends on how they treat me. If oh, this, yeah, I've this, had that. this manager keeps getting on my nerves, I'm, yeah. I'm probably going to, you know, retire early. Well, you know, I run into the same thing, Chaz, because people come to me and say, well, um, you know, I carry the health insurance right now. My wife is a few years younger or my husband's a few years younger. And, you know, we're, I'm, I'm hanging on to at least get them to Medicare mm. unless they really crank me off and then I'm out of there, you know. So <laughs> yeah. I run into it all the time. So it sounds like, you know, kind of like Wanda, you know, heck no, you know, we're not ready to retire yet. Um, you know, I look at it, I uh, in one of my events that I did uh, here a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned in a previous segment, and um, uh, she's 67 years old. She And she told me, she looked at me and she said, I love my job. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like me. I love what I do, right? So if you love your job and you're not necessarily ready to retire, you actually can retire on your own terms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's the key with this is, uh, co- you know, coming to you and saying, okay, Chaz, here's my thought process. Uh, I need you to to confirm that what I'm thinking is actually going to work. You'll probably get that more yeah, than anything. Absolutely, yeah. And that's really what it, uh, retiring retiring on your own terms means to me is that it lines up with your own personal timeline and preferences. And this can mean that you just feel financially secure enough. Right. Like maybe you've hit that nest egg, that number that you've always wanted, and that's going to allow you to retire younger or maybe you finally reached that full retirement age that you were hoping to get to, and um, you know you're able to retire without feeling any external pressures or any obligations that requ- that are requiring you to continue working. So one that comes to mind is the mortgage. You know, some sure. sometimes they like to see uh, that. You know, and I like to see it as a financial planner that you've paid off all of your debt right. because going into retirement is just a much easier conversation and in, in a, um, a plan to develop with as little debt when, when there's little debt compared to uh, having a ton of debt going into retirement and you know really putting a lot of the emphasis on the stock market to perform and give you what you need to make your bills uh, that's a, a pretty um, dangerous proposition for a lot of early retirees you know don't you also think though if um uh, you know, the, the, the key is uh, retiring on your own terms. Don't you think that if someone comes to you and says, hey, you know, I'm looking maybe a couple of years down the road mm-hmm. and their success rate is, you know, 85, 95 percent. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden 
six to eight months later, they have a catastrophic health issue come up. Mm. You're no longer retiring on your own terms. No. But knowing that you had that success rate mm-hmm. has to relieve some of that tension and pressure, right? I yeah, mean, because that's what exactly what we do is we, we test it um, for those, those stressors, uh, health care that may um, be more than what you'd expected. So, you know, generally we, we kind of have a, a health care budget dollar amount, maybe six to $7,000 a year. And, I, and clients will say, I'm not spending that right now, but we want to make sure that you could sure. spend it. Sure. And that's really what I think the financial plan can do for a client is it is we can load up as many of the things that keep you up at night that, that you fear and that we think you may be subjected to based on retiring on your own terms. Mm-hmm. What does that mean to you? We help you articulate it. And then if there's a pretty high probability of success, meaning of all the the trials and the iterations and the projections that we run, the computer says, yeah, there's a 90% of them resulted in you passing away comfortably in your home, you know, with money in the accounts. Uh, then, then we think that that's a, probably a pretty good plan for us to start working towards. And, um, you know, making sure that we also have the ability to control what we can control. So like you said, you can't really control your healthcare expenses, mm-hmm. um, but we, we absolutely c- can control what we're paying for things. So, you know, potentially looking at strategies of tightening up the belt, you know, a little bit. Our spending strategy is important to talk about. So I joke around with clients, I'll say, do you plan on retiring and aging like fine wine where every year you just keep getting better or, or turning into vinegar? I mean, I guess it depends sure. on how you look at it. But, um, <laughs> you know, are you going to, or, or do we need to account for, um, inflation adjustments every year, regardless of whether the market's up or down or in your budget and in your lifestyle expenses that include hobbies and interests, traveling, volunteering, spending time with family and friends. Do we have the ability to tighten up a little bit? Then we can actually show the probability of success, uh, assuming a client is willing to have that conversation about when the market's down, maybe we don't spend as much and we pull back. Uh, in other instances, you know, clients are really not willing to give much, primarily because they haven't really, uh, they didn't leave themselves much wiggle room. You know, we, we can only say sure. it's, it costs everybody, for the most part, about the same amount for basic living expenses. Right. If we're not generating that in their financial plan, there's not a whole lot that I can cut when times are lean. You know, I'm glad you mentioned that because, you know, we always talk about how we can help people with, um, uh, you know, the, the good things, right? How we can invest, how we can make money for them, and how, um, you know, I can help them with their Medicare. But let me throw something. Let me throw a different twist at you. What do you tell somebody when you run that analysis and it comes up and it says you've got a 15% probability of succeeding what do you tell that person? Because they're coming in thinking, man, I really hate my job mm-hmm. right now. I'm ready to pull a <laughs> plug and get out of here. They come to you and you say, uh, looks like you're going to have to work at least another four or five years. Mm-hmm. What do you tell these people? Usually there's something wrong in, um, I, I would say, their understanding or their expectations, rather, for retirement. And so what do I mean by that? Well, um, in many cases, they just haven't gone through the actual exercise to understand that you don't need to have every dollar saved today that you are going to spend in the future because we are expecting a certain amount of return from the market to kick that in and, mm-hmm. and to help. So uh, sometimes just level setting the expectations with spending, um, knowing that you probably won't spend exactly the way that you're spending now throughout your entire retirement. We mm-hmm. have go-go phase, slow-go phase, no-go phase, and they're like, oh, yeah, you're right. I don't need uh, to have that. So they'll come in with these, you know, grandiose expectations about what sort of income they're going to need in retirement. And when we subtract from that dollar amount, the FICA taxes that they're paying now that they won't pay in retirement, um, we add back the social security that they're going to receive. And in many mm-hmm. cases, the, they forget the mortgage is going to be paid off. Um, I've never had a client that left the office feeling disheartened or downtrodden we won't leave it on 15 percent. there's always something that we can do Mm -hmm. maybe it means delaying social security from 67 to age 70 and really changing the paradigm uh if it's one of just um entitlement where they're taking it because they can um we have to change that paradigm to say let's extend our time horizon let's let's assume a strategy where you take social security 
takes pressure off your investments. Markets don't have to perform as well. Right. And then it inevitably increases their probability of success. So we never leave them on 15. They're always leaving at least with the plan. It may not be exactly what they wanted, but like in life, there's things that we have to cut and we have their sacrifices and trade-offs we need to make. We can help you make them and, and pick the ones that are more doable, more likely for you to actually follow. So that's why that's why um, we do what we do, right? It's all about helping the client out and making sure that we give you uh, at least you're walking out of here with a little bit of a relief knowing mm-hmm. that there is some things that you can do to make some changes and to get through that retirement. I'm sure there are people out there, people that have come through the doors at America's Retirement Headquarters who, for the most part, were doing everything right. And, and you know, not saying that's going to be the norm, but it happens. And wouldn't that be great to find out if you were doing everything right? I'm sure the team would tell you to stay on track on the other side of the coin. There are people out there who, you know, might start out at that 15%. That is not a failure on your part, on their part, but it is something that, you know, just by by coming in, just by listening today, you're showing that you're taking your retirement seriously and, and you can begin to course correct and, and boost that number up, start developing that plan. And maybe you don't plan on retiring, but it, it's so much, uh, I think it puts your mind at ease to know that if you do choose to walk away from that job, when you do, you've got that plan in place and you're going to be okay. See where you stand right now. And, and, you know, uh, kick the tires. Meet the team at America's Retirement Headquarters, 419-794-3030. Don't kick the actual team at America's Retirement <laughs> Headquarters. But find out more about them, the planning process, and start developing yours. 419-794-3030 or online, arhq.com.